Kira Slicer version 4.11 was recently released with a new feature called monotonic ordering. It's how it prints the top layer and bottom layer on your prints. It's supposed to help make them smoother. So we'll take a look at that. And then I'll show you some settings that are already in Kira, which will give you a really smooth top surface without ironing. So let's take a look at all of it on today's Film of Friday. Film of Friday is brought to you every week by the generous donations of these Patreon supporters. Cura version 4.11 is now released. It's no longer a beta. It's got two new features. One is its user interface has improved, and the other one is the monotonic ordering. It's supposed to help make the top surfaces smoother. Now, along with this, of course, there's bug fixes. So let's take a look at that monotonic order. I brought in a chep cube and I upsized it to 200% to give us a bigger work area. I'm going to slice it with my chep 0.28 layer height profile. And then let's take a look at how this thing prints in preview. There's two areas here on the side of Z that we're going to keep our eye on. It's kind of weird. But let's look at this in animation mode. It starts printing in the lower right corner, but it leaves this gap here where it's kind of weird. But then it keeps going around all the way to the upper corner. And then it's going to come down from there. So it comes down, goes up into that Z again, leaves a little gap there. And it's going to continue all the way back to where it started. Kind of just going around this thing and then it fills in those little spots. So now let's look for the monotonic. I'll just type mono and there it is. I'll check that box and let's slice it again and do the same thing. It starts in the same corner, works its way up just like before, but then it jumps down here to the bottom. It stops and jumps down here to the bottom and imprints from the bottom. And then it goes from there over to a certain point and then stops and goes back to where it was before. Jumps to the other side of the print. So it starts filling in the top corner and comes across from there, but then it filled in that little gap while it was doing this. Then it goes to the other side, fills in the gap, comes up from this side, and then eventually it's going to go up and fill that corner. So that's monotonic. I honestly don't understand how that makes a print smoother, but let's check it out. I only printed the top section, but here's non-monotonic and monotonic. Can you tell the difference? Because I can't. Even if I zoom in, I see differences, but I really don't see a major improvement. So instead, let's get rid of that little funky area. I'm going to go down just one layer, and you can see it changes to an angled line and nice and clean. So this can be fixed by the top and bottom line direction. If I put this at 90 degrees, then I get horizontal lines, and it fits in those gaps really nicely. One drawback is every layer is now horizontal or 90 degrees stacked on top of each other. So you may want to alternate those. Well, that can be done. Adding a zero before the 90 will make it one horizontal and one vertical. One horizontal, one vertical. But I'm going to stick to the 90. Let's get rid of that zero. And now let's look at the walls. There's this yellow wall that the infill goes into. And then there's two green and a red. Those are outer wall and an inner wall. I want to get rid of that yellow wall. And that's called the skin wall extra skin wall line count. It says one, so let's make it zero, and now it's gone. Great. So now the infill is going into one of the green outer walls. I got too many. I got two outer walls and one inner wall. Let's get rid of a wall. Let's change that to two, and now we've got just an inner wall and an outer wall, but there's a gap between them. How do I get rid of that? You go into outer wall inset. I'm going to make it half the nozzle width, 0.2, and let's see what happens. The two walls now merge. There's no more gap. And the infill now goes into the outer wall. But how much? You can set that as well. My profile is set to 30% overlap, and that seems to work really well. There's one more setting I like to use is top bottom line width. Instead of 0.4, I make it 0.28. It gives that infill a little more resolution. Let's slice it with all these settings and take a look at it in preview. It looks pretty clean, but how will it actually print? And here's the actual print. It looks a lot like preview. In fact, when I zoom in, I don't see the walls. I don't see any gaps. This is very smooth. Now, both of these have monotonic set, but there's a big difference between the two. If I zoom in, you can really see a major difference. So monotonic helps, but these other settings do a lot more to make it smooth. I printed a full chep cube with those smooth settings, but a 0.28 layer height. So the sides are a little rough, but the top is just almost perfectly smooth. I'll include ironing because I know someone will ask, so you just check on enable ironing and then there's settings. You zigzag and then I typically do a 0.2 because a little bit of filament gets oozed out when it irons. It looks good in preview, but I don't get consistent results all the time. You can see there's a spot on this where it didn't get enough filament. 
Here you can compare the three, monotonic, my smooth values, and then the ironed. I like the one in the middle the best. I am releasing my profiles for Cura 4.11. I'll put a link to it in the description below. There's a smooth version for each layer height, and then I also have a TPU version. So try them out. Let me know how it works for you in the comments below. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of the other videos that are popping up. And if nothing else, click on that CHEP logo and subscribe. I'll see you next time right here at Filament Friday.